But what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video and in this video I am going to be talking about the best methods of outreach in July 2020. No, I don't waste no time. So guys, welcome back to the video and like I said in the introduction, the best methods of outreach for July 2020. To be fair, it's just applicable for, you know, Q3 of uh, 2020. Um, but obviously, you know, for the, the ranking of the YouTube video, it's probably best to be more specific. I just say July. Um, but anyway, I just basically want to give my two cents on the methods of outreach. Um, basically explain some a bit more about uh, the methods of outreach that I am using currently for my own agency. And also some methods of outreach that I am looking into uh, that I'm basically going to pass on to the coaching group as well. So first and foremost, uh, when I got started with social media marketing, I did cold emailing. Um, I did this manually. Literally, I used to type out um, uh, email to like one or two businesses. And uh, that was literally the very first way um, or method for me of doing outreach. And what I used to do is I used to send them an audit um, right away. They didn't ask for it, anything like that. I used to make a personalized audit and send it in an email. And I basically said, I've got some more ideas for you. Um, you know, would you like to hop on a call? Um, I think my response rate was like 0%. I think one person actually responded to me and said, um, thank you, we will look into it, and never got back to me. And then I uh, quickly discovered uh, Upwork, which uh, literally was my big break. Like we, When I discovered the Upwork method, that is literally when my agency took off. That is when I started landing clients. And I used the Upwork method for a very, very long time time why because it's low hanging fruit these people are already actively looking for someone to do their social media for someone to do their facebook ads for someone to build them a funnel for someone to give them consultation and so on and so forth all you need to do is apply for the job posts and basically convince them that you are the right person for the job so you no longer need to convince them that they need facebook ads or funnel building etc because they already know they have already decided okay we need this uh, we don't want to do it in house. We want to find someone uh, that can work as a freelancer or, you know, basically a service that is uh, remotely based. So, you know, they're not coming in house. Um, so they're completely happy with that. They understand that you are not going to be physically there for them. All you need to do is convince them that you are the right guy for the job. Now, over time, more and more people discovered the Upwork method. Um, I then switched to freelancer.com and there weren't as many posts available. You know, not a lot of people posting jobs on there. I went to freeup.com, uh, peopleperhour.com. Um, I basically had VAs doing this for me, by the way. I didn't do this myself. Uh, but still, you know, the, the, basically the, the methods of outreach were freelance websites, but Upwork was the big one. That was the one that was, um, you know, basically bringing in all of the, the meetings and sales, etc. Uh, we also had a quick little side note. We had there was a, this uh, freelancer website called Bark.com, and what you had to do is you had to pay for um, the contact details of the lead. So I think it was just UK based. So um, you didn't pay to get onto platform or anything like that, but you paid per lead. So let's say you saw a job post that uh, you thought was interesting, you could then unlock that job post. Um, and basically get the, the customer's details. And I think it was like 40, 40, anywhere from 40 to like 60 pounds a lead, which is very expensive. So we thought, okay, this has got to be like a high quality, um, high end uh, freelancer platform. And we spent about 200 pounds on all these little uh, Facebook ads jobs. And um, we rang them up and we tried to send meetings. Some of them had no idea that their job was on Bark. They weren't like looking for anyone, which made us think, okay, maybe this Bark website isn't legit. And um, some of them just said, listen, you know, we've already found someone. So Bark.com wasn't actually updated. So we spent like 200 pounds for nothing, which, you know, a learning experience. And obviously, you know, 200 pounds to know that a platform doesn't work. That's okay with me. But still, you know, if you're starting out and you spend 200 pounds on leads that won't convert or aren't interested, you know, that's that's uh, obviously you know, going to be hard to take. But anyway, back to the video. So freelancer websites were for me like the main way of uh, doing outreach. And it is still a method that I do highly recommend you guys uh, to look into as well. Why? Because it's low hanging fruit and 
All you need to do is convince them that you are the right person for the job. You no longer need to convince them that they need it because they already understand that. Okay, so moving on, the next method of outreach and the method of outreach I am currently using now is cold email. And yes, you know, the response rate isn't as high with cold email as other methods of outreach, etc. But it still gets the job done for me and the way we have automated it, uh, put that system in place. And we also have a VA front loading uh, basically our system. You know, it just really works because of the sheer amount of volume that we're basically putting through our pipeline. So basically what we do is we combine it with Loom Outreach, which uh, for those of you that don't know what Loom Outreach is, it's basically a way for you to record your screen as well as your voice. And you can even decide to have yourself uh, at the left bottom in like a video form as well. And it's just a very personalized way of quickly going over their website and showing them that you're not just reaching out um, in a generic way, it's actually personalized and it's tailored towards them. So what we do, because obviously that is very time consuming, guys, Loom is very, very effective. Our, basically, you know, our conversion rate with Loom is one in five, which means that one in five people that view our Loom will decide to hop on a course, so about 20% conversion rate, and then from there, you know, obviously we try and um, propose to move forward in a paid manner. So what we basically do is we front load our email system to send out email blasts to literally like 500 businesses a day. We don't do this every single day, obviously, but when we are doing the outreach, we'll do like 500 businesses a day. From there, we'll basically ask them, is it okay to send over a quick video audit? If they reply, then we send the loom okay so we don't spend hours uh, every single day making loom videos for people that might not even be interested in it we only send it to those that have responded and said yeah that is fine um send over the loom video and quick little life hack here uh, which is something that someone in the coaching group did which i thought was hilarious um basically they sent out the blast and then rather than send the loom what they did to people that replied is they said listen you know i'm going to really take my time with this loom so if you want um you know if you're okay with waiting then that is fine but if you want to hop on a call earlier and we can do it in video you know i can do it live uh, you know before your eyes then let's schedule a call so he hooked them in by saying can i send a free audit and then he says, listen, this order is going to take a, t take a while because I'm going to do my best with this order. I'm really going to, you know, um, basically leave no stone unturned. So if you want, I can actually do it live uh, before your eyes on a video call. And that is how he basically got his, uh, his meetings for his agency. But uh, like I said, cold email, ask them if it's okay to send a video. If they say yes, I send the loom. And that is my uh, method of outreach at the moment. And then another method I am currently looking into, again, I do not have experience with this, so I will not uh, go too in depth in this because I'm, st I'm still the guinea pig here. I'm still trying this out for myself, which is uh, LinkedIn automation and using LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So the great thing about LinkedIn Sales Navigator is that you can literally find leads. Like there's literally an option to find leads and all you need to do then is fill out the industry, fill out the language, um, and fill out like how big you want the company to be, etc. And it will literally just give you an entire list of leads that you could potentially reach out to. That uh, combined with literally automated um, connections and automated responses, again, is a way that we are looking into to try and automate it in uh, basically a way that isn't spammy because I'm literally getting like maybe 10 to 20 connection requests a day. And I know that they're all like through bots and I get the automated messages, they're really generic saying, hi, you know, uh, let's connect. I see that you are in field marketing, etc. Um, you know, it will be great to hop on a call. That is basically what I want to prevent, and we found a great system to um, to basically reach out um, in an automated way for emails, but make it personalized as well through uh, basically through Excel sheets, etc. And we're basically trying to do the same thing for LinkedIn. But uh, like I said, that is something that I'm currently looking into. So previously it was Upwork. Now it is cold email outreach combined with Loom, and we are currently looking into the Sales Navigator and LinkedIn automation, and then everything I learn, I'll obviously send it over to the coaching group so that they can learn it as well. But of course, I'm gonna show you guys um, basically a quick overview of what we are doing um, if I decide to move forward LinkedIn on the YouTube channel. So I think that is it for now. Uh, like I said, 
Freelancer websites are a great place to start. If you want to know how to get onto the Upwork platform and you want to do Upwork outreach, um, I do have a free mini course on this. Um, if you are subscribed to my channel and you have the notifications turned on, you might have already seen my advertisements. If not, what you can also do is basically request access to the free Lifestyle Design Community Facebook group and it's part of the, like basically the onboarding there as well. You get it as a freebie as well as my uh, free uh, playbook, so basically my free ebook on how to earn money online. So you get those freebies if you request access to the lifestyle design community, you get accepted. You know, those are part of your like basically welcoming gifts that you are part of the community. But that is it for now. I'm going to wrap up this video here. Like this video if you got something out of it, and comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you all in the next video.